everyone. Welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. I am solving question 4 of weighted residue approach. Solve the following differential equation y double dash minus 64 y plus 10 is equal to 0. The domain for x is from 0 to 1. The two boundary conditions are y at 0 is 0 and y at 1 is 0. Find y at 0 0.25, 0 0.5 and 0.75 using Dalekin and subdomain method. So in this question, I am supposed to use only two methods. I'll start the same way as I have done in the previous numerical. Let the approximate solution of the given differential equation be y is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x squared plus c3x cube. This is my equation 1. The reason is degree of polynomial is equal to order of given differential equation plus 1 which will make it to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. This y double dash means d square y by dx square. So 2 plus 1 3. Now I am going to apply boundary conditions to find value of two constants. So applying boundary conditions. These are the two boundary conditions that I am going to use. First one at x is equal to 0, y is 0. When I substitute here, I get 0 is equal to c0. Therefore, I can say c0 is 0. One constant becomes 0. When I apply the second boundary condition at x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So, when I substitute, I get 0 is equal to c0 is anyway 0. This becomes c1 plus c2 plus c3. Therefore, I can say c1 is equal to minus c2 minus c3. I will now substitute C0 and C1 in equation of y. Therefore, I will get y is equal to, in place of C1, I am going to write minus C2x minus C3x plus C2x square plus C3x cube. Here I can take C2 common, so I get x square minus x. And when I take C3 common, I get x cube minus x. This is my equation of y. I will mark this as equation 2. Then I will write down since solution is an approximate one, therefore this y double dash minus 64 y plus 10 cannot be equal to 0, it will be equal to some other term r which is residue. I will mark this as equation 3. Now, using this equation of y, I will find y double dash, substitute in this equation and find an equation for r. So, therefore, I can say y dash will be c2, 2x minus 1 plus c3, 3x square minus 1 and y double dash will be 2c2 plus 6x c3. I will substitute this equation here. Therefore, I get r is equal to 2c2 plus 6xc3 minus 64 into y that is c2 x square minus x plus c3 x cube minus x and I have plus 10. So when I open the bracket I will get 2c2 plus 6xc3 minus 64 x square c2 plus 64 x into c2 and I will have minus 64 x cube c3 plus 64xc3 and lastly I will have plus 10. So here I can take c2 and all the terms containing c2 together. So I get 2 from here. Then here I will get minus 64x square plus 64x and for c3 I will get 6x minus 64x cube plus 64x plus 10. So this can be written as 2 plus 64x minus 64x cube x square just rearranging terms and here these two will get added 
so i'll get 70x minus 64x cube and a 10 over here so r is this entire equation i mark this as equation o. next i'll write the weighted integral form integration 0 to 1 wi r dx is equal to 0 therefore integration 0 to 1 wi and then i'll write the entire term of r over here so i get c2 i mark this as equation number 5 this is my weighted integral form. Now here I am going to substitute various weight functions for the two different methods which is asked to me and I will calculate the value of C2, C3. So I will start with the first method that is the subdomain method. For i is equal to 1, wi will be w1 that is 1. And the domain will be 0 to 0 0.5. And I substitute here, therefore, integration 0 to 0 0.5, 1, and then this entire bracket again. On integrating, I get 6.33c2 plus 7.75c3 plus 5 is equal to 0. I mark this as equation A. Next, I'll write down for i is equal to 2 wi will be w2 that is 1 and the domain will be from 0 0.5 to 1 therefore 0 0.5 to 1 and the same thing I will be written again on integrating I get 6.33 c2 plus 11.25 c3 plus 5 is equal to 0 I mark this as equation b Solving A and B, I'll get the value of C2 and C3. I get C2 as minus 0 0.7899 and C3 is 0. When I substitute in the equation of Y, I'll have minus 0 0.7899 x square minus x as the only term. So, I get the answer of y at 0 0.25 as 0 0.1481, y at 0 0.5 as 0 0.1975 and y at 0 0.75 as 0 0.1481. These are the values obtained by subdomain method. Next, I will take up the Galakin method. Here, wi is coefficient of ci in y. For i is equal to 1, wi will take value w1 and this will be coefficient of first unknown that is c2 in y which is x square minus x. Therefore, when I substitute in the weighted integral form equation, uh, instead of wi, I am going to write down x square minus x and then the entire bracket term on integrating. I'll get 2.4667c2 plus 3.7c3 is equal to minus 1.667. This is my equation A. Now for i is equal to 2, my wi will be w2 which will be coefficient of c3 in y. The value will be x cube minus x. Therefore, I'll have x cube minus x into the bracket term. On integrating, I'll get 3.7c2 plus 5.676c3 is equal to minus 2.5. I mark this as equation B. On solving equations A and B, I get c2 as minus 0 0.6813 and c3 as 0 0.003692. On substituting in the equation of y, 
I'll get minus 0 0.6813 x square minus x plus 0 0.003692 x cube minus x. I get the value of y at 0 0.25 as 0 0.1268, y at 0 0.5 as 0 0.1689 and y at 0 0.75 as 0 0.1265. With this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session with another numerical. Thank you. Mm -hmm.